have a strange story to tell. Such a strange story to write, and I, I don't know how to put it into words. There's an election coming, and I know we all face a choice. A choice about our future and the future we want for Scotland. But in truth, I had thought to disregard that choice, to cast it aside and leave it for others. Humbug, I said. Humbug to voting, humbug to elections, humbug to it all. What did it matter anyway? I really believed that. Perhaps that's why they came. Three spirits on this Christmas time, each with their own message, but all with the same goal. To open my eyes, to make me see, to help me understand that something really important is happening and I can't ignore it. There ticks and talks that damned clock again. When the bell tolls, that's what I was told, you'll be visited by three spirits with an offering, a chance to help Scotland escape from this damned course to isolation we've foolishly been set sail on, a chance to escape this Brexit mess. It rang just like that. First ghost appeared. The ghost of Scotland's past. Scotland's past. Scotland's past is littered with the injustices of a broken system, a Westminster system. Tory Prime Minister after Tory Prime Minister, all rejected by Scotland's people, but each and every one of them imposed on Scotland anyway. Decades of potential lost, and all with the promise that at the next election, at the next vote, it would be different, but it never was. Yet despite all of the disappointments, all of the missed opportunities, all of the sorrow, there was always hope, even if some of us had forgotten it for a wee while. Hope for that promise of a better future. Hope that one day things could be different. That hope, it found its new lease of life in Scotland's referendum, in the endless potential of independence. You saw that hope everywhere you looked, from Harris to Hoyek, from Ayr to Aviemore, in the streets of Dundee and through the tenements of Glasgow. People started to believe again. Something different was possible. Westminster rule was not inevitable. Tory rule was not inevitable. Scotland could be better. Change! Change! That's what the spirit kept saying. We voted for change, all of us. Yes and no. But instead, Scotland just got more of the same. Despite the promises, all we got was Westminster politicians dictating Scotland's future. The second spirit, the ghost of Scotland's present. Boris Johnson, reared in Eton and the Bullingdon Club, fired twice for lying. A peddler of fictions and falsehoods chosen by only 0.1% of the population becomes prime minister. Scotland said yes to Europe. Scotland said remain. Scotland said we are European. But Westminster says Brexit. The Union says Brexit. Labour says Brexit. Tories say Brexit. Trump says Brexit. Boris Johnson says Brexit. So Scotland must Brexit. Back in your wee box. Those words, those words, they went rattling through my head. That is our present. But it's not what we hoped for all those years ago. It's nothing like we hoped for. What we were promised, what we wanted, what we voted for. I called out and I begged the spirit, do not let this be our present or our future. Trump and Boris, Brexit and isolation. We want so much more. We can do so much better. But he was gone. And then the bell rang for its third and final time. I turned to the fireplace and there sat an old man rocking in his chair. 
The years had not been kind to him. He looked weary and scunnered. He was the third spirit, the ghost of Scotland yet to come. Scotland is at a crossroads. It has a choice to make, the most important in a lifetime. There's a choice of two futures, one full of hope and opportunity, the other just doing what we're told, taking what we're given, eating our cereal. Ask yourself, really ask, what kind of future does Scotland want? Does it want to tie itself to Boris Johnson, to Donald Trump, to Brexit? Is that really the best we can do? Or does Scotland want to escape this chaos and choose a better future, a European future? An independent future. Both futures are possible, but only one can happen. Scotland's future in our hands, or in Boris Johnson's. That's the choice we have to make. It can only be made by those that vote. It's time to decide. And then the ghost was gone. It's time to decide. We need to escape Brexit. We need to be rid of Boris Johnson and his Tories. We need Scotland's future in Scotland's hands. It's Scotland's choice. It's time for you to decide. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.